Today, I will be reviewing The Little Women of Dallas, Season 1, Episode 11. I really want these women to know what a person that is attached by feelings means. So let's talk about it. A person attached to another by feelings. I just got that off the internet. That's the definition of friend. I'm gonna read it again. A person attached to another by feelings. Friend, it's the definition of friend. I had to clarify this. So next episode, you guys know what the hell a friend is. Cause y'all was throwing me off. Y'all keep calling each other friends. Y'all don't know the meaning of friends. I mean, shit, and it make me mad every time you use the word. I don't think none of y'all know what the word friend means. So Kaylee's in beauty school, trying to become a makeup artist. She's down to her final exam. She has to pick someone to bring in to do their makeup and then to get graded on by their instructor. So they're sitting at the table and she tells all of her friends, because y'all don't know what the meaning of the word friend means. You know, I need someone to come in so I can do their makeup so I can get graded on it. And her friend, Tiffany, friend. Now they abuse, they misuse the word friends. And it's making me mad. I'm so sorry, protesting the damn show if they say the damn word friend again. Tiffany volunteers to go in. So her, so Kaylee, I'm sorry, using the word friend. So her associate can do her makeup and get graded. But the minute step, uh, Tiffany steps into the school, she started complaining before her ass could hit the seat. She was like, I don't like this, you're not doing this. M trying to make it seem like Kaylee had no idea what the hell she was doing. So Kaylee was getting mad because I don't play, what the fuck? I could have picked anybody off the street to come in and bash my work. But not your ass, you're supposed to be my damn associate. It's because them girls do not get to call each other friends. You're supposed to be my damn associate. She even got some ass, she said, Tiffany, shut up. My instructor can hear you, shut up. I mean, I ain't never seen nothing like it. I mean, damn, she would have been better off hiring an enemy to come in and, and slice her to pieces. But it gets worse. So after she is grunting and moaning about the makeup, the instructor comes over at the end and says, well, what do you think of, your, of the job she did? Ciao! <laughs> I'm starting to think, uh, these are not friends. They need to stop using the word friends. Well, then that was a pass for Tiffany to go off. She was like stabbing her in the back, in the front, and from the side. She was like, I don't like this, I don't like that, and eh, eh, eh. And they got up and walked out and said, thanks for inviting me. I never seen anything like it. I had to keep rewriting the tape because she was like, I'm going to pick one of my friends to come. One of my friends. I was like, girl, you don't know what the word friend means. Child. I mean, I, I've never seen. Woo. I have never seen anything like it. Kaylee, you need to reconsider hanging out with Tiffany's ass. That is not a friend. Child, all you want is a little certificate to say you can do makeup, and she don't even want you to have that. Woo, child, I don't, even have, I don't even let people like that stand on my lawn, let alone outside. Like, that is not a friend. That might be a female dog. <laughs> child, I'm telling you. No, I've never seen nothing like it, but you know, that was the least of Kaylee's problems. Problems. Kaylee's got a lot going so on. I was happy when she passed the uh, exam without any help from Tiffany's ass, but that didn't last long. I mean, she passed, and then like five minutes later, we find out Kaylee's pregnant. This is a rough week, ain't it, Kaylee? This is a rough week, rough week. Okay, so. She was devastated. She said she doesn't even like the father. She said she she's not ready for a baby. I mean, she's devastated. And rightfully so, because a lot of times when women get pregnant unexpectedly, you go through a gamut of emotions. 
I felt bad. She was crying. The only thing I can do is offer you advice. And that advice is, don't tell your so-called friends because they'll make it worse. You got to keep this to yourself until you know what you're going to do. Because that those aren't friends. Those, those are a group of assholes. Don't tell the assholes. They might make it worse. But you got a lot of thinking to do. I feel bad because you are my favorite person on the show. But I'm going to give you some room. Like, you need a long time. You got a lot to think about. Let's Next, we have Asta and Emily. A person attached to another by feelings. A person attached to another by feelings. That's the definition of friends. I'm telling you, this, this group is insane. Y'all need to call the women of LA to find out what you need to do to become friend certified. Because y'all are not friends. I'm telling you. Okay, so last week after Emily stole... <laughs> her associate's idea, she stole Asta's idea of opening a bar. She decided at the very end because she didn't want to go to court. Not because she gave a damn about Asta's feelings, because she didn't want to go to court. She decided to allow Asta to make an emblem and get 3% of the profits. An emblem. A sticker. <laughs> and Asta agreed to this outrageous deal. What? <laughs> Whatever, Asta. Fine. That just means you didn't want to open up the bar that damn much. Because, child, she's still ripping your ass off, but okay. But once you agree to this insane deal that she offered you, emblem girl, that's what I'm gonna call you, now that you're the emblem girl, you have no right to say what she can and cannot do. So now, Emily has reached out to Tara from Little Women LA to partner up with her in this bar. And Asta is furious. But Asta, you have no right to say anything. I mean, that's why people say if you don't understand what a deal is about, you didn't contact a lawyer, you didn't tell your boyfriend, you just said on the spot, okay, that's what you get. But look, no harm was done. I'm trying to tell you, Asta, you have to stop sweating the small stuff. This bar is never going to make it. Ever, ever, ever going to make it. The attraction of the bar is little people are the bartenders. I'm, I'm going to repeat that. The attraction of the bar is little people are the bartenders. This is a weak, lame-ass attraction. I see, when I see little people, I don't think wine. <laughs> when I see little people, I don't think of scotch or the rocks. It doesn't matter who owns this bar. That's probably why Tara was like hesitant and said, I'm going to need a, um, some kind of a plan, you know, I'm going to need a little more time. Let's try a pop-up. It's a dumb idea, Emily. Like, please, you know, somebody would tell you, I'm sure somebody would tell you that you're being ridiculous if people could trust you. <laughs> but being known as an idea thief, you're not going to have too many people trying to open up to you. This is a dumb idea. This is never going to take off. Tara's going to end up backing out of this deal because she ain't no damn idiot. And when all that falls in, then you need to go to friend class to figure out what it means to be a friend. Thief and friend aren't in the same category. So, you know, um, I have no, there's no doubt in my mind, you'll catch up to understanding what a friend is. In the meantime, girl, so, bye. When you put the word boy, in front now that we're clear on what friend is when you put the word boy in front of friend it takes on a whole different meaning I had to look it up because i'm i'm official right here i'm official it says a frequent or favorite male companion again a frequent or favorite male companion the key word here being frequent frequent so you know who i'm about to talk about thanks damn wuda I swear, every time he comes on the screen, my blood boils. I cannot stand his ass. He is the biggest user on the show. Bree, you have been with him for five years, and he has not made it official. 
He wants his cake and eat it too. He wants to run to Atlanta, do what he wants to do, then comes back when he has free time. The only reason he's back today is because poor little Meek, their son, who is adorable, had to have surgery. Now, according to Bree, little people are prone to having wax build up behind the ears, and this can lead to them having a hard time hearing. So she took him to the doctor and all of her concerns were validated. So he had to have, I think she said, tubes put in his ears and tonsils out and surgery. The poor little guy had to have surgery. So this is why Wuda is back this week. So every time he comes back on the screen, I'm going to tell you why he's back. He wants something. This time he had no choice but to come back because his little boy was having surgery. Now, Bree says that uh, surgery is harder on little people. And I do believe that like a lot more could go wrong. And you do, you have to be more concerned. Anybody in their right mind would be more concerned. But Wuda's not in his right mind. <laughs> Wuda's not in his right mind. He acted as if it was no big deal. He did not console her. He didn't hug her. He didn't pat her on the head and say things will be fine. He was just like, you can't use this little people shit anymore. That's not going to work. He's going to be fine. He'll have surgery all day. Emily, I mean, Abri, he cannot be any more blunt with you. You have to get rid of him. You are beautiful. You're a great mother. You're a good friend. You have so much to give. Why waste your time on his ass? He is, ugh. It just boils my blood. He doesn't appreciate what he has. He takes you for granted. And you, deep down inside, you know it. You have to get rid of him. Oh, my God. And so I'm pissed off that he even showed up this week because I hate talking about his ass. So I'm done talking about him. I'm glad little Meek is okay. Meek is cute. You said, Meek, what don't you like? And he said, doctors, he is so cute. And I know when he gets better and makes a full recovery, it'll be worth having that surgery. I know you were scared out of your mind and you weren't consoled by Wuda, but you're consoled by me. I would have been worried too, but it ended up being the best thing, I guarantee you. So let's move on. Besides that, there wasn't too much more going on. The women went to this... Uh, Ladder and release thing. It's where you write your wishes down, you put it in there, and then you light it and release it into the air. It was very, very pretty. I really haven't seen anything like that on television before or in real life. So that's what's pretty. Um, I'm sure Emily probably put something in there about JJ, and I believe Tiffany put something in there about Austin. I hope she didn't put anything in there mean about Kaylee. <laughs> you know, she, that girl. She's not feeling Kaylee. She's not a friend. Besides that, that's what happened. So this is the beginning of the season. It's kind of slow. I hope it picks back up. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.